All right, so I'm a founder of a company called Financial Health Mentor, where we bring practical, proven wealth creation strategies to working class people. I am of the mindset that it's way past the time for us to uh, not be able to have access to the financial strategies and systems that the wealthy have been using to not only build their wealth, but also protect their wealth. So I do my best to share this information with as many people as I can, and, and in particular, hardworking people like you and me. What we're going to talk about today is wealth creation strategies, how to get Uncle Sam to pick up the check. All right? How many of you guys like to party? How many of you guys like to vacation? How many of you guys just like to have a good time with family and friends? All right? There's only one thing better than doing all of that is that when you do all of that and have somebody else pick up the tab, right? So we're going to talk about how to have Uncle Sam pick up the tab. We're going to talk about it in two ways. First, we're going to talk about using the tax code to create wealth, and then we're going to talk about using the tax code as a tool to recruit and maintain or retain those reps. So I understand that you guys are all independent uh, sales associates, but you also have the ability to recruit and build teams. Well, you can use tax code and the tax strategies that I'm going to share today and in your process of filling people out and maybe pushing them over the edge to help you understand how to do what you do because you have a lot of people, I'm sure you guys have your spiel that you use to pique someone's interest, you're probably using form and other things like that. Well, here's a strategy that I'm going to show you guys how you can use the tax code as another tool in your, your uh, utility belt. I, I'm a Batman fan, so Batman has all those gadgets in his belt. As salespeople, I'm sure you have a lot of gadgets in your belt. Well, if you don't know this information, hopefully I can share it in a way that you can see how you can use this information as another one of those gadgets in your belt to help you recruit and also retain some of the reps that you are recruiting. Disclaimer, I am not a tax professional. I'm not an accountant, I'm not a CPA, I'm not a tax lawyer, I'm just a guy who found a mentor, stumbled across some information, uh, listened to what he taught me, and basically used this information in my personal life. It's worked for me. The few people that I have shared it with, it worked for them as well. Um, so I don't mind sharing it, but don't listen to anything I say, don't believe anything I say, do your own research, all right? Some of these strategies appeal to you and you want to start implementing them, then run it by the tax professional in your life to make sure everything is on the up and up. Because one thing I know about tax um, code and these strategies that we teach, they're very situation specific, all right? I'm going to talk about them in a general sense, but they're very situation specific, all right? So this is not about tax evasion. I'm not going to tell you not to pay taxes, all right? I'm not about that. I love paying taxes because I love riding on smooth roads. I love crossing bridges from one state to the next, all right? We know that tax dollars pay for all that. I like the option of sending my, ch my children to a free public school. Now, we can debate whether public school education is the best or not, but at least we have that option, and we know taxes make that uh, 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 possible. So I'm not about tax evasion, but what I am about is not paying more in taxes than I have to. I'm going to pay my fair share and not a penny more. All right, so who do we have in the room? Is everyone in here doing this full time? All right, this, you're doing this full time and, and there's nothing else, okay? Because I know um, if everyone's doing this full time, then I can cater the message to a certain uh, um, a demographic. But basically, uh, for people who are doing it on a part-time basis with a full-time job, there's a different way that you can apply these strategies. And people who are doing this full-time and also have a part-time uh, job as a W-2 wage earner, there's a different way that you can apply these strategies uh, as well. So what we're going to talk about is the five basic tax benefits and knowing your numbers, all right? Tax benefit number one is business use of your home. All of you guys are in a home-based business. You guys are 100% commission, right? Yes. You don't write no business, you don't eat, right? Yes. Most of you guys are operating your business from your home, right? right. So I'm going to share with you how most people don't realize the power in having a home-based business. You guys all have home-based businesses, so I'm going to show you the power in that. So basically, business use of your home, all right? When I say know your numbers, you should be able to tell me what the square footage is of your home office is. Anybody know the square footage of their home office? You know the square footage of your home office? Do you know the percentage of it that it is in comparison to the rest of the house? Yes. Because that's important. 
That's important, right? Because if I have a thousand square foot house and my office is 200 square feet, then that's 20% of my household that I can apply all of my household budget from my rent, my utilities, any maintenance that I have done on the house, 20% of that now becomes a tax deduction because my home-based business office is in the house. All right, so a lot of people are missing these deductions and this is how you create and protect wealth. All right, so know that number, know the square footage of your home office and also know what percentage that is of the total livable space in your house because that becomes powerful, all right? Uh, business use of your vehicle, all right? We're talking about knowing your numbers. What it, how many miles is it between this office and your house? Anybody know? How many miles from your house to here? You know? You tracking your mileage? Yeah, yeah I'm writing it down. All the time. Okay, you write it down, and you should because yeah. why? Why should you know? Because fifty-seven and a half cent per mile is reason enough for me to know that number. All right, fifty-seven and a half cent per mile you drive in your personal vehicle for business is a tax deduction. All right, so this is powerful. I'm telling you, this is how you create wealth. All right, this is how you protect wealth.